Hello, buddy. My name is Mr. Bonesy, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Now, in the last episode, we did Balance, which was actually extremely short. I don't know if it's the shortest by far, but we're going to be doing Reflection, which I'm hoping is like the same length. If not, maybe it gets shorter and shorter, but eh, I don't know. But let's just jump right into it. This is like a Yuri and Monica story. So the easiest voices for my throat. Am I bothering you? Um, no. Okay, just checking. It's hard to tell since you always look so into what you're uh, reading. It makes me scared to interrupt. Well, it's within my expectation to be interrupted when I read here. It's mainly why I'm by myself and that I don't like it. Hmm, that makes sense. I guess if you're here in the first place, then you're more ready to socialize. Even if it takes a, if it, even if it takes a little bit of pondering. It's not so bad to be social if I let others do the work, so it can be healthy to put myself in a social environment environment every now and then. It's mostly difficult when I don't know anyone, or when there are too many people, or everyone's being too silly for me to keep up with. <laughs> Look at that clown ball back there. <laughs> Yuri glances across the room to Sayori and Natsuki. Sayori has her head uh, croaked back and her mouth open, trying to catch a piece of a cookie that Natsuki is lobbing into the air. But the pieces keep bouncing off her face and hitting the floor. Not only is it a waste of food, but also, like, that's the weirdest. That's just kind of weird. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, this is a literature club, not the cool kids club. Maybe I should say something. No need. They just ran out of cookies. What a waste. They're really, they're really become good friends. Haven't they? I'm happy. Sayori seems particularly good at making that happen. But the two of them are both uh, on the energetic side. So I suppose it works out well. Yeah, come to think of it, you and I, I, I haven't had many chances to talk one-to-one, -one, have we? Except for I'm venting to you. And you're taking all the emotional baggage I have. Which you seem to be good at handling it all since you're so quiet. Though, that may be partially my fault since I'm supposed to be the one engaging club members. Not at all. I'm probably formed a habit of drawing minimal attention to myself. The responsibilities is equal on me, at least to display some openness to e engage. Well, what about during times like lunch? Do you meet up with your friends? I just read. Oh. But I like it that way. It feels nice not to be carried off again in a, in a, after a morning of classes. Hmm. Do you always read fantasy? Oh, uh, not always. I suppose I've read, uh, I've read recently that I'm only because I'm in the middle of this series. Oh, I suppose it's all I've read recently since I'm in the middle of the series. There are still, there's still two more books after this one. I guess those long bo books suit you well since you spend so much time reading. Well, fantasy may be my favorite, but other than that, I'm more or less indiscriminate to genres. I read, I, I all read anything with depth and maturity. Oh, yeah? Like, even, like, romance? Well, there are a lot of books that have elements of romance in them. Oh, come on, Yuri. You know what I mean. Monica lowers her voice. It's a guilty pleasure of mine. So I won't tell anyone if you do. So Monica's really into romance. Okay, she will like Twilight or something. I don't know. I've never seen it. Maybe when more when I was in middle school. I mean, I was really... It was really... Lo I was really lonely and people were mean to me a lot. So I just kind of felt like... no. Nah, Please don't make me think about the past. Eh, sorry, I'm just super curious. You know, we should totally pick out a romance novel to read. That would be so much fun. Absolutely not. Really? Even if it was just between us? Try uh, try asking someone who has no shame like Natsuki. Ouch. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, I swear. I didn't mean it that. Well, I guess it was my fault for pre uh, pre pressing you. I'm, uh, I'm like... Uh, 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 why am I doing like Natsuki's voice? I just realized that. I'm like for things in my past too, you know? Things I like too embarrassed to re-experience. There's nothing wrong with growing out of it. It happens to everyone. For instance, Natsuki's interest in manga reminds me quite a bit of how intense I used to be on my own interest. It makes me think that she'll likely grow out of it too. Hey, were you talking about me? No, no we were just... Oh, oh, we were just talking about how our interests have changed over the years. When did you get into manga, Natsuki? Um, like a couple of years ago, I guess. I was already sort of, uh, I was already sort of into it before that, but it was, wasn't really going hard until then. Oh, yeah? What was, in, what, in, what was that inspired you to get more into it? I don't know. I guess, let me think. 
It was after I discovered the series that I really liked. Yeah, I was just like really fed up with a lot of things and I got super into this one series that I really related to. I guess I had an edgy phase where I just hated everyone around me and I wanted to be myself. Ha ha ha. Hey, kind of like Yuri. M Monica. <laughs> Sorry. That's completely wrong, so... It's so cool to th that both of you really found your thing. They're almost like opposites, but it sounds like you they helped you a lot through hard times. You know it! Mm. Wow, what the heck? Is that book even bigger than the last two you're reading? Uh, um, it's technically slightly larger, but I'm not very- but not by very much. How high do you th how high do you think it would go if you stacked the whole series? Natsuki Emma st estimates by holding her hand above her book- above her head. I don't know how I said her book. Sizing up to a, an imaginary stack. I should give one of these- um, of those mangas like 50 volumes long so I can say I've read more than you did. Haha. <laughs> Not that I have the money for that. Please, that would hardly count when your books only have a few words per page. I know, I was just joking. I could I could never actually read books like yours. It's too boring for me. Yuri shoots a glare at Natsuki. The fuck you say? <laughs> it's not boring. <laughs> chill, uh, chill. I said for me, not for you. Damn. I could have my own opinion. I just think it's too convoluted. Sorry. Are those from the floor? Mm. Ah, <laughs> gross! Also, wash your hands before touching any of my books. But my hands are, aren't dirty. Just do it. The oil, the oils are even are uh, there, even if you can't see them. Fine. Sayuri trots out the door, not and Natsuki follows. Sayuri's like, it was a five-second rule. Trust me, even though it's been more than five seconds. Yuri, you look a little upset. What kind of nerve does she have to call my hobby boring? Well, she did correct herself. Hardly. She was so condescending. I I don't mind if she thinks it's not for her. I already understand that it's not for everyone. But she knows how, well how much these mean to me. So why about you just leave me? Why about you just? How about just leaving me alone instead of needlessly telling me the things you hate about it? I'm sorry, Yuri. You may be right. This won't be the last time people have strong feelings about what they like and don't like, especially in the larger club. So I should figure out how to meditate. Med meditate. Wait. Mediate. I don't know why I was adding an A. Meditate. There's no A. Mediate. Discussions. They keep them positive and constructive. For the record, I've always been impressed by the level of creativity in your books and also the ability to get through them so quickly. Thank you. Okay, well, this is something that I have to think about and revisit. I'm sure I can help Natsuki to find some common ground with you. Common ground isn't necessary. I just wish to be respected. That then. Either way, I'll do my best. I'm skeptical when it comes to Natsuki. I trust you, Monica, but I'm skeptical. Okay. The next day, I guess. Or the- I guess it's the next day. Okay, everyone. We have a special club meeting today. As you know, the Literature Club is a place where we get to share things that we're really passionate about. But that also means that we have to be mindful of how we respond to each other's feelings. I think we have a chance to turn ourselves or turn our differences into positive energy for each other. Are you being a little dramatic about this? This is also new music, I think. Nice. This is important to me. Well, sorry. I just feel like I'm being accused or something. No, I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm sorry if I came off that way. But our conversation yesterday made me reflect on power of language. And I thought it would be a good topic for the Ledger Club, don't you think? I'm sure we have different... I, I, I'm, I'm sure we're going to have a difference in opinions a lot, so I need to make sure we're prepared to keep a positive atmosphere in the club. If you say so. Sure. The cool thing about language that it gives us a lot of different ways to express the same ideal or emotion. We have a lot of control over what we want other people to feel when receiving our thoughts. This goes for poetry, narratives, casual conversations, basically anything. For example, sorry, what's your favorite food? Oh, um, I have them organized by categories. Should I start with snacks or do you mean full of meal? Uh, do you mean full meals? Should I include breakfast? Oh, jeez. How about your favorite fruit? Oh, that's easy. Cherries. Really? I always thought cherries would taste nasty. What? Cherries are delicious. Whoa, that's a pretty strong reaction. Well, I just don't understand how somebody could think cherries are nasty. How does that make you feel? I don't know. Sad? Defensive, maybe? Yeah, I get defensive. 
Christy, the reason you had such a strong reaction wasn't just because I don't like cherries. It's because you felt like your opinion was under attack. But that's weird, right? Something like taste to, something like taste is completely subjective. But when I say something like, I think cherries taste nasty, I'm using objective language. I'm challenging Sayori's reality that cherries are delicious with my own, which is that cherries are nasty. Wait, hold on. How is that objective when you just said it was only your opinion? It has to do with the way our brains inter interrupt or interrupt. Uh, uh, oh, can't speak. Interpret word the words. You're talking about the reality of the cherries, not your feeling about them. Like Sayori, let's rewind for a second. Pretend I didn't tell you that I think cherries are nasty. Good. So what if instead I of that I said like I've tried cher cherries and they're not for me. I think it's the kind of flavor I enjoy. Well, that's fine. As long as you don't call them nasty. Nasty is a nasty word. It's okay, so cherries were kind of a weird example, but I think it gets the point across. This time around, instead of talking about cherries, I just talk about my feelings. And sorry, I didn't get defensive. So instead of crashing with, or clashing with each other, it's like we receive an invitation to talk about our differences. Yuri, you don't need to take notes. I'm not going to quiz you or anything. I, I know that. I was just... Um, Sorry, I didn't mean to call you out. <laughs> call you out. You can do whatever you like. But does anyone have any thoughts so far? Yeah, I just feel like I shouldn't have to put my language through a filter just to protect someone's feelings. Well, you don't have to. The choice is yours on how you want to come across to people. I'm just suggesting it's a tool to help turn your differences into a positive experience rather than an argument. Right, sorry. Whatever you say, cherry hater. Oh, come on. Sorry, I actually like cherries. I was just saying that to help demonstrate. What? What the heck? I've been duped! <laughs> I'm sorry, sorry. I'll make it up to you later. How about a cherry sundae? You're welcome to dupe me anytime, my beloved president. Buying the, your people's loyalties. How deplorable. Oh, like you had turned down a free sundae, Yuri. You were certainly a fan of those cupcakes I brought in the other week. That was... I mean, I was reading and not keeping track of them. I ate like 30. <laughs> It's just my metabolism. They're they're going to uh never mind. Oh, that's enough. We're getting off topic. So now that we have the gist of that, how about we try to wish Oh, I, I don't I don't know why I said wish. How about we try with something more relative to the club? Like manga, right? Let's try to have a po uh, productive discussion about our differences in opinion. Yuri, how do Yuri, do you want to start? Um well, I'd rather not, no. Oh, uh, how come? Well it's because I don't see anything po uh, productive can come from that. It's not- I'm just gonna start a fight. No, it'll be fine. That's why I'm here to moderate. Let's just have a calm and rational discussion. Yeah, give me a little more credit. I'm not a child. You don't have to cuddle my feelings. Record- uh, Fuck. I always think it's more respectful just to speak your mind. Respectable? Your expression changes at the word. As Monica recalls, being respect was a crux. Cr crooks. Crux? <laughs> a crutch. No, it's not crutch. Crux of the matter of Yuri. Well, the point of the exercise isn't exactly like... It's fine. I have nothing against anyone person, uh, personally. You're entitled to enjoy whatever it is you like. I'll prefer more depth and nuance in my reading material. I look for stories that have imaginative and sophisticated... Be um, Imaginative and sophisticated beyond the surface level. I don't know why my brain shut down. <laughs> oh, well, that's just a misunderstanding then. I thought you were going to say that manga is for children or something. Like, I don't hire here or that enough of that. But there's plenty of deep manga. I'm not clueless about manga. I read my own fair share when I was younger. What? Are you serious? How come you never told me? Because I'm past the point. I'm past that point in my life, and I really prefer not to revisit it. I prefer more mature things now. Excuse me? Okay, hold on. Can I jump in here? Let's try to keep things subjective. Because if you imply that manga is immature, then you're you're implying that someone is immature for being into that. I. I meant to say fuck you. <laughs> well. Maybe I'm immature to judge people for having different tastes than you. Natsuki. Nobody's immature. I've read Natsuki's manga and Yuri's fantasy, and I love them both in their own way. Okay, okay, okay. It's great that you like it, but I still find it boring. Boring isn't subjective. Okay, it bores me. That's subjective. But, I mean, the thing about... That is ridicu ridiculous. Do you see why I didn't want to par uh, participate in this? 
I knew it was just going to make people upset. I'm not upset. Like I said, I don't care what other people think. But I always get the impression that you secretly look down upon me. So I'm glad my suspicion was confirmed. That's not true at all. You're making up assumptions. You can't blame me for getting defensive when nobody el uh, ever has the least bit of respect for the things that I'm into. The only thing I look down upon is when people make fun of me for being... Or for just being myself and trying to mind my own business. What? Have you looked in a mirror? Tell me again in respect. Tell me again about respect after calling all my interests immature. You can't... Please stop. Please. You don't mean the things that you're saying right now. Let's just be friends. I didn't mean for this to happen. Well, it did. So please don't in, uh, invite yourself to try to solve other people's problems next time, okay? Fuck you. Damn, that was just really aggressive for some reason. Y Yuri... Pa uh, pierces piercing words send the club room to a choked silence as she gathers her things she leaves damn holy crap <laughs> it was her time with them I, I don't want to make that joke <laughs> I've never heard her sound like that before she must be so pissed well you weren't very nice either so I was just saying how, how did this happen it's my fault. Yuri wasn't wrong. I shouldn't have tried to moderate a conflict where, when I know how bad I am at dealing with conflicts. It was really stupid for me to do, uh, for things to, it was really a stupid thing for me to do. It's nobody's fault. And it wasn't stupid. Everyone in the club is a nice person. Nobody would have expected this. But I'm guess we're sensitive about the things we really love. Honestly, she kind of brought it up upon herself. Like I said, I don't care if you're into manga. Or not into manga. But if you actually look down on other people like that. That's the kind of point I was trying to make in the first place. It's not about a sugar it's not about sugarcoating things. It's about the recognition and understanding and our differences. Okay, but here's the thing about that. Yuri actually looks down on me. It has nothing to do with her word choice or anything like that. So I see what you're trying to do, but I th really think the problem is her uh, here is her, not just like the way we like to talk to each other, right? I mean, Yuri isn't like that. She's a lot sweeter than you're giving her credit for. I'm sure she'll be reflecting on this. I actually think everyone should. It'll be fine. I'll figure something out. Wow. It, uh, I'm just like saying that insti instinctive instinctively. I'm just setting, my, uh, setting myself up for more problems. That wasn't your fault, Monica. You don't have to beat yourself up over it. If you ask me, it's good that the truth finally came out. Because I can just move on now. But mm, it's fine. I promise. Let's just get off our minds, okay? In fact, it's a great opportunity to read some manga without having to worry about feeding your uh, superi superiority complex. Damn. D don't be mean. I'll, I'll talk or I'll read manga or whatever you want, but don't be mean to our, my friends, okay? S sorry. I'm just bitter. Everything will be okay. I mean, I don't have the answers, but I at least know that we're all good people and we don't want to hurt each other. This will be a learning experience. Monica says that, but her uneasiness, uh, uneasiness is given away by how much she has to force the reassuring tone in her voice. This is bo bound to happen eventually. Natsuki and Yuri has has have always engaged with each other over the oh, uh, engage with each other the least of of people, and this is the reason. As Sayuri and Natsuki proceed to distract themselves with manga, Monica sighs to herself, unable to shake her worried thoughts. With the club really, will, with will the club really have to come to just terms with the fact that some members will be incompatible with each other? Monica desperately didn't, didn't doesn't want to admit that, and she knows Sayori doesn't either. But for once, a solution doesn't seem to be in sight. Oh God! Wow, it's like the same length as the other side story. All right, reflection part two. Let's just jump right into it. No hesitation. No stop. A new day arrives. Sorry, arrives at the club room earlier than usual. This is th that is not late. As she enters, it appears to be empty still. So she sits down, uh, sits down at a desk and pulls out a sheet of paper, primed to jot down her thoughts. Sorry has made up a, a habit of scribbling her thoughts and feelings on the paper whenever possible, as it tends to serve her as the best inspiration for poetry. My heart feels vacant because a ship sailed away. Yo. Yeah, yeah. Natsuki. Natsuki uh, pokes her head out from behind the closet door. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. But it would be, uh, but it would be more awkward, a lot more awkward if I didn't say anything. 
I doubt you want to listen. I, I doubt you want me to listening on in on your poetry thing. Y yeah. Thanks for the realizing that. I should let you finish that up then. Oh no, I was. It wasn't. I mean, I just, I just do it whenever it's convenient. You're not interrupting. Where's Monica, by the way? Oh, she's out in the hallway. Huh? Why? Well, just in case she runs into Yuri. Sometimes Yuri's too nervous to come in into the club room by herself, so. Oh, jeez. Does really let things, does re Yuri really let things bother her for that long? She can't control her feelings. For some people, it's really hard to cope when you're the bad, at th when you're getting a, a bad thought in your head. Maybe you could distract yourself for a little while. But as soon as it's just you and your thoughts, as soon as it's just you and your thoughts again, it comes back. <laughs> hmm? I just want us to have a normal club meeting. It's a lot easier to pretend like it never happened if we all just ignore it and move on. I don't want to be bothered by this. It's so stupid. Her opinion of me doesn't matter anyways. It, besides, it makes me feel guilty and I hate her too. It's okay to have that feelings. It doesn't make you weak. Let's figure this out together. Fine. Only because you're good at this stuff. Let's try to come up with a happy scene. Maybe that will help us understand wh where your bad feelings are coming from. Well, I was happy by the things were. Wait, I was happy how... I was happy the way the things were before we had, to co uh, had that conversation yesterday. What part of the conversation made you upset? Was it Yuri being mean about the manga? Maybe. I doubt it, though. Because my friends and other people make fun of me, manga, make fun of manga all the time, but I just brush it off and ignore it. But something about uh, something about it really got to me this time, and I hate that I'm letting it ha letting that happen. Is it because it came from Yuri? No. Why would that matter? I mean, well, well, maybe. I just hate that she thinks that she's so much better than me just because she likes to pretend to be all so sophisticated. So, that's what it is. At least other people decide that they don't like me. Or manga, or whatever. But Yuri acts like she's too good even to give it a chance. I, I, I'm sorry. Everyone deserves a chance. Yeah, exactly. Would you give Yuri a book, uh, Yuri's books a chance? Huh? After this? Obvi obviously not. What about before this? Well, I would until I get bored, which is when, which wouldn't take very long. But if you actually kept an open mind, then it's not too hard to realize that a story can be deep and meaningful without being needlessly complicated. I see, but you know, I like Yuri's books. Yeah, but you like manga more, right? <laughs> Sayori shakes her head. I like them both. I like them in different ways, but I like them both. I mean, the manga, it's really honest and fun, and it's easy just to like go with. And fantasy has a lot more int um, to a lot more to in uh, interpret and uncover, and it's really reward. Uh, re it's really re rewarding to have some good quiet time together with. But the most important thing is that the both, well, uh, the both of, well, the both, the manga and the fantasy are true to themselves. So I love them both. And I think there's room for, uh, for both of them to do uh, in the same club together. And I just feel like maybe, maybe they have a lot more in common than you would think. Well, I think you're stupid. <laughs> well, how do you get along with everyone so well? I always get to fights with people. Like... I first with Monica, and then when I was new to the club, and then it was you, and now it's Yuri. It's, I'm, uh, and I'm always like, oh, that person is being such a jerk, and if they just realized that, they could at least get along. But nobody else has this problem. I just keep running away from it. The reality that everyone buddy is just a jerk to me because nobody likes me, and I just don't know why, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know what's wrong with me. I hate it. That's a key. Sayori puts a comforting hand on Natsuki's shoulder. You're a wonderful person, and you deserve to be loved as much as everyone else. Everyone has their different ways that they like to communicate, you know? And sometimes it makes it harder for us to understand each other. Did you know? I wanted to kill myself, but I never told you that. And it puts a whole new cast of light on me when you realize that. I think that sometimes, sometimes we just get lucky and we make friends who, who are really good at some kinds of communications. And it feels like you magically connect with them. But other times, even if both people are really nice, it's easy for them to misunderstand each other or to get the get the communication wrong. It's something that Yuri struggles with a lot too. It could be really hard. It takes a lot of like reflection and self awareness. Oh, she said the thing again. And vulnerability. I'm bad at that one. Vulnerability. 
I always hate to be the strong. I always have to be the strongest. Wait, what do you mean? Tell me about that part of you. Well, it sounds stupid, but I'm really used to people being mean to me. Like my friends, and I guess my dad, like when I don't get good grades, or make stupid things, like if my room isn't clean. So what am I gonna do? Cry about it? If I let myself get upset, then I'm just letting people- I'm just letting them win. I'm better than that. I'm better than all of them. So things always have to be someone else's fault. Or so, yeah, it feels like if something goes wrong, and then there's even a tiny hint that it might be my fault, then... I get- I just get really angry and I find ways to blame everyone else instead. You think with that self-reflection and realization you do that, you wouldn't do that as much, but I guess you still do. <laughs> do you see yourself as better than Yuri? If I said that, then I would just sound really full of myself. No. Our thoughts and our feelings are two different things. Even if we don't think- even if we don't like our feelings, we have to understand them and we want, want to learn more about themselves. They're a part of our vulnerability, you know? Accepting that we have the feelings that we don't like. I- I hate that. My feelings make me a bad person. Because my feelings just want to tell me that I'm better than her. That- that she's judge- judgmental, know-it-all, who's stuck in her edgy phase and that I'm just way above the ga that garbage. And I'm, but I'm terrible for feeling that way. You're not terrible. Y you are not your feelings. But you are not your feelings. Say that to yourself out loud. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get this thing outside of you. I am a man. <laughs> I am an idiot. <laughs> I forgot what the quote was. I, that SpongeBob scene, though. You gotta get this thing off your chest. <laughs> I am an idiot. <laughs> Is that what he says? I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen SpongeBob. It's just been lingering in my head. I want to get it right, but I just can't remember. Fine. I am not my feelings. That, the way that I like to picture it... Is that those feelings are like your roommate. I am ugly and I'm proud. That's what it is. I'm ugly and I'm proud. Is that what they call it? Feelings are like your roommate. You live in the same house and you gotta see each other other every other day. And even if you can't ignore each other the most of the time, you're gonna run into each other every now and then. And it's gonna make you feel like poop. So, the other option is to get to know each other. You can communicate and learn from each other. And maybe even help each other, or help each other ch change for the better. Does that help you understand? How do you know so much about this stuff? I just have a roommate. I just have a roommate that we could... I just have a roommate that can be really hard to get along with. Called depression. I actually didn't expect her to drop that. Depression? That made... No, I'm but you're like the happiest person I know. I am not my feelings. I want to be a good person like you. Aw, you're a little sweetheart. We're all good people. You, Yuri, and Monica. And I think Yuri would eventually learn that from you, about you. Natsuki remains silent, feeling a little overwhelmed. Despite Sari's kind reinsurance, a compliment, a complicated mixture of pain and sadness seems to fill her, as though falling from the w wound inside of her. Was this a result of her vulnerability? Also, like, Natsuki really didn't take that well. <laughs> or didn't really take that at all. Oh, yeah, I have depression. It's like... Oh, alright. Like, you think you have a little more like, whoa, whoa, whoa really? <laughs> like, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> Those were just kind of like really tame. No, it wasn't as, no, it wasn't as though she was inflicted a wound, uh, inflicted a wound after becoming vulnerable. It was though she had begun to rediscover, uh, re you discover an uh, old wound. One that is, can, cannot simply be bandaged and left alone any longer. It seems like Natsuki got her own depression. And com ego complex. Oh, this is the new background. Yuri, what are you doing all the way over here? I was looking for you. I, please don't yell at me. Oh, I'm not going to yell at you. I just want to say that I'm sorry about what happened yesterday. It was unfair for me to put everyone in that spot on the spot like that. Next time, I won't just try to jump in and solve everyone's problem. I guess it's a bad habit of mine. You're not. You're not mad at me. I thought you were the one mad at me. I was so awful yesterday. Yuri curls up. Curls up, recalling the details of the argument. I can't even handle a normal conversation without saying something wrong and making everyone upset. Oh, hold on. That's not what happened at all. Let's talk about this, okay? Yuri pauses for a, pauses for a second, then manages a nod. Not, not Monica takes a seat right next to her in the staircase. Uh, I'm having a lot of negative thought patterns. I can't, 
and I can't get away from them. What kind of negative thought patterns? Like, everyone hates me, especially Natsuki. Oh, that's terrible. I don't think Natsuki hates you. H how do you know? Well, because... Now I can th Mo Monica thinks back to the time that she's she herself found herself. That, that's a tongue twist. Not a tongue twister. That's just a brain fuck for me. The time that she herself found herself in the alter her, alter call, fuck in an altercation with Natsuki, and how a display of maturity from Monica was enough t from the Monica to reevaluate her feelings as well. I think. I think Natsuki is just naturally defensive. I think she acts mean when she feels the need to protect herself. But you know, she's really not a bad person. In fact, I think she can be uh, really thoughtful and considerate. She just, well, I guess the way it works is that she wants to receive some degree in kindness first before she feels comfortable returning it. Oh, oh, but that means the burden is on me. And I don't know how to say things that make people like me. Every time I open my mouth, I just... Yuri shakes her head to herself and tugs on her hair. It's okay, Yuri. You don't need to beat yourself up. I think everyone like you if they... I, th I think everyone would like you if they had the chance to get to know you. Well, unfortunately, the opposite is true. That's why I'm not talkative, per any talkative anymore in the first place. Because everyone used to think I was weird and talk about me behind my back. And that's what happened when I draw attention to myself. Natsuki even said it, she found it more respectful when people speak their minds, so I did. And then she hated me anyway. That was enough to confirm my fears. But, but Sari and I like you. And we've gotten to know you a lot by now, right? Mmm. Yuri doesn't seem to have a response. Oh, the music changed. That was weird. Just... Anyways. <laughs> hey. What do you think of Natsuki? I, I don't think about her. That's not what I meant, really. Oh, I just... Uh, mm. I was just wondering if you had an opinion of her. I do. What is it? Natsuki seems to bring out the worst in me, and I really feel shame of it. I like to rethink myself as a fairly sophisticated person. I really like saying the word sophisticated. So, for someone to just treat me like I'm inferior despite my taste, that just the worst of kind of insult coming from someone like her and it makes me think of bad things about her but everyone else seems to like her so the only explanation is that it's me who's doing something wrong again and my feelings about her are wrong and i'm wrong to get upset over something so childish and inconsiderate or in that's not, not that was not inconsiderate i looked down when i was reading that fuck <laughs> well if i figure out the button Nope, I'm not even going to try. I managed to hide the text, though. No, no, Yuri. Feelings are never wrong. Well, they're not right. That's the thing. Feelings are never right or wrong, you know? They're just they're just the state of being that we don't have, uh, we don't always have control over. But that doesn't mean that you have to control us. I feel like that's something I learned around when I first started the club. We can hate ourselves for feeling a certain way about things. Or we can, you know, just acknowledge that they exist to try to understand them better. I could never be mad at you for just feeling a certain way. It's about how you handle them. I think working through feelings is a great opportunity for teamwork. Yuri wears, dejective, wears a dejective expression. You make it sound so easy. You're so mature and so good with people. I feel like a child in comparison. Oh, Yuri, I'm far from perfect. But these are learned skills. These are learned skills that don't come naturally to me either. It's really hard to like reflect on yourself and separate your feelings from your thoughts. I just want to be a good person. Well, I think it's a I think it takes a good person to get this far. That's not good enough. I want to be, be able to communicate to her. Communicate what? How to feel. How I feel, I think. <laughs> How it makes me feel frustrated when I upset when I she gets so negative and dismissive about the things that make me so uh, that makes that makes that means so much to me, <laughs> and how it how it reminds me of me because I know what it's like to feel misunderstood and angry at everyone, and I know telling yourself you're better than everyone else is a just a, is a just a defense mechanism. We're just people. We're fragile and unstable, but I'm just tired of that getting in the way i can't seem i can't stand it when uh, it's just the i can't stand it when the piece is disturbed like this yeah 
You can't focus on reading when people are disturbed, right? Because I... Because... The literature club should be happy for everyone. Monica looks at Yuri and... Uh, at her... Fuck. <laughs> brain melting. <laughs> Monica looks at Yuri in adoration. There. God. <laughs> Sometimes I just stutter too hard on things. I feel like Sayori must be rubbing off on me because... Because I really want to hug you right now. Mm. Ah, sorry, I didn't mean to make you feel uncomfortable. No, um, I mean, well, if you wanted to, then I wouldn't really mind, so. Monica pulls Yuri into a short embrace. You're so gentle, and I love I, and I love when you communicate your feelings. I feel lucky to get to see that side of you. And I'm sure Natsuki will too. I'm going to write her a letter. Oh, a letter? What a great idea. Just because I'm not good at talking, especially under pressure. Pushing down on me, pushing down on you. I always feel, I always let my feelings get the better of me. And I forget to say all the important things. And I say things I don't mean. Well, I think a letter would be wonderful. Such a nice way to communicate. Geary face, face hardens with determination. People don't na uh, naturally gravitate towards me like they do for you and Sayori. My personality is just isn't suited for that. And I wouldn't want it to be. So something, but something I've learned is that friendship doesn't always just magically appear out of thin air. For instance, I would never have seen myself making friends with someone like Sayori. We're opposites in a lot of ways, but I'm friends with her because she puts up much, she puts up much effort to understanding me so she can, so we can get along. So I think this was, and I think it was the same with you. You both gave me a lot of time and patience. And I wonder if, if she feels that same way. Natsuki? Your yod, nods. I always thought that I would want uh, that I wanted to make more friends. I wanted to, I had to be somebody that I'm not. That there's some kind of type of person or a magical formula I have to follow in order to make someone like me. And that's just the way I think. I uh, think always a, a, a fuck. Always so occupied with myself that I failed to understand each other. Uh, each other people. Yuri shakes her head. Friendship happens when you think about the other person. When you offer time and thought to understanding them and respect them and trust them that they always want to be a good person. That's what I learned through my observation in the literature club. Observation? Monica is caught by surprise. Yuri has always kept herself so much that it's unusual to her it's unusual to hear her silently talk about the club like this. But Yuri's gentle smile or Yuri gently smiles to herself. You always let me listen to your thoughts about people. Or your to too, and it makes me happy because I learned lots of things. That's so sweet. I, I had no idea it meant so much to you. Monica never thought, uh, never, Monica never thought much of it. But in the past weeks, Yuri's always seemed to be especially attentive when it comes to her pro, uh, to the problems and concerns of others. Always wanting to learn and l always wanting to listen and learn more about her friends in the club. It's true. Sayori and Monica are naturally more comfortable with other people, and it can be easy easy work through situations of conflict but that doesn't make them better people everyone has strengths and weaknesses and the capacity to improve and the first step towards improving oneself is reflection and self-awareness it's something that yuri never gave herself enough credit for but that monica can recognize as an incredible trait and with that her conflict in the club is restored yay was this just part one no this is part two I don't know, this- I keep forgetting because I look at the time and I'm like, man, this video is short. And I'm like, this has to be part one, but then I'm like, this is part two. Then again, I haven't- I didn't see the still yet, so I don't know how long this, this, this is going for. A very shy girl with long, pretty hair is wandering the bustling lunchtime hallways, her fist pressed into the curt collarbone. <laughs> when she finds her- when she finds the liturgical president club, uh, classroom she stands at the door glancing all around her before peering inside monica's sitting and chatting with a group of unknown friends yeah as expected this was a bad ideal after all once again monica well actually i think out of every character monica was the expected one to have other friends because it was always mentioned that she was the popular student uh so i guess that makes sense but it's just weird that it's just weird to visualize that they have other friends besides each other <laughs> I'm just saying that. I wonder if we're gonna see silhouettes. Suddenly, Monica glances towards the door, making the girls making the girl panic and duck out of sight. Before she can regain composure and decide for sure to leave, the classroom door gently opens. 
Yuri, what a surprise to see you during lunchtime. Can't you see I'm busy with my cool friends? That if I see you with, I'll be made fun of? Fuck off. <laughs> Yuri squeaks a response. Please help. Please help me. What? Is everything okay? Yuri shakes her head. I don't know how to write letters. Ah, <laughs> thank goodness. I thought there was some kind of an emergency. Monica briefly glances over to her shoulder at her other friends. Do you want some help? I can go find an empty classroom or something. Is that okay? I feel bad taking you away from your friends. It's totally fine, I promise. We weren't really doing anything. One sec. Monica trots back to the classroom, says something like, I gotta go to her friends, and grabs a pen off the desk before returning to sight with Yuri. <laughs> She's like, these are a bunch of nobodies. They're not even poor enough to get stills. Okay, let's find somewhere quiet. Yuri nods and follow and follows Monica as the two of them set off. It'd be really hard to find an empty class. Then again, it's lunchtime, so I guess it won't be that hard. How, how are you today? Huh? Me? Well, yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. Sorry, I just got cut off guard. I'm doing well today. I'm just tired. I never seem to get enough sleep during the week. How oh, come? Oh, I don't know. I think I'm just easily distracted. I get really sucked into things and then start neglecting the time. M me too. I do that too. I also do that too. Yay. Someone's going to look at the switch time of this and they're going to be like... Damn, but it's not accurate at all because I keep changing my time on the switch. Uh, hey, this class classroom is empty. Let's go in here. But that also makes me forget the time. So I actually do forget how, what, how long I've been sitting here for. After peering inside, Monica opens a classroom door and the two of them enter. Hey, uh, this background that's like used twice, I think. So this is either the classroom with the cool arts and crafts big closet or this is the classroom the main character takes and does his sleeping i guess yuri moment moment yuri's moment of relaxation ends he watches as monica pulls the two chairs on the same desk then obeys as monica beckons her to take a seat he stares down at the empty desk you nervous i don't want to do this we don't we don't have to. We could go with something else. Yuri shakes her head. It's my chance to do something good. I need to. I uh, need to take. I I need to take this in in. Uh, I can't speak. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I need to take this initiative. Gosh, you must be really determined. I know how hard it is to step out of your comfort zone. But I'm sure. To, I'll be sure to encourage you. Yuri pushes through anxiety and grabs a handful of lined paper. Paper. Ooh, slugging now, from her notebook. I need to take a sip probably. <laughs> It's not water, but it'll get the gears wet. <laughs> then she picks up her pen. It sounds really gross when I wear it like that. Hey, new still. I found out. I figured out the button to hide that. So, woo. Hey, you're left-handed. That's neat. Oh, yeah. Now I don't have to worry about bumping into your arm. Monica playfully, playfully rubs her shoulder against Yuri's. How would that be playfully? Oh, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm just being silly, I guess. Anyways, how about we start by listening, listing the different things you want to say to her? Hmm, Yuri thinks. I feel embarrassed all of a sudden. Oh, it's okay. How about some of the things you said, uh, said to me yesterday? But, never mind, I guess I'll try. Yuri thinks for a moment long- Yuri thinks for a moment longer, her tension invaded- or in Fuck. <laughs> then she writes the word reflection. <laughs> This is about my reflection on my behavior. The key, the key question is why we act like this towards each other. But we have to be able to separate. Uh, we have to be able to separately be friends with Sayori and Monica. That's me. Yes, it is. So Yuri thinks I've been able to befriend the two of you because you've taken your time to understand my needs and respect my interests. Mm-hmm. The same goes for Natsuki too. We started off by poetry. Uh hustle is something i'd scratch my eye first uh we started pretty hostile <laughs> hustle and hostile are two different things to each other because i was so worried about uh, getting what i wanted but she just wanted to respect more than anything else once i stopped making it all about me she was able to do some the same i want to do that too so what kinds of things do you want to do for her i keep forgetting that they actually move their faces when up there because I'm so focused on the text box that I will look at this, the main art, and then I'll look down for like the entire time. So I actually forget that they act. Even though it's like 
their eyes are mouth changing. It's just I keep forgetting they do that. I want I want to do the same thing for her that I like to receive. I like it when people respond positively to the things I talk about and not just brush me off. I like when my feelings are taken seriously. And I like it when you, it's already trust me that I, yes, I already trust that I want to be a good person, even when I'm not doing a good job at it. Let's write those things down. Okay. Yuri writes, or Yuri writes some of the things down. I think the most important thing to remember here is that Natsuki is feeling vulnerable. So we should make sure that the letter puts her first. It's hard. To, oh, was, oh shit. Who was talking there? I think that was Monica. Oops. It's hard when you're feeling hurt. But it never helps to tell someone all the things that you're doing wrong. I think first you have to make sure that they're, you know you're ready to respect them and listen to them and admit things you feel you could do better. Then finally you ask what would you like in return? How does that sound for the structure? It could be like a three paragraphs, one for each of these points. God, this is like an essay. I like that. My thoughts are so disorganized. I have no idea to come up with any kind of structure. You're so amazing at these things. Oh, stop. You're... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're doing so much more than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. Why. <gasps> then I have, you know? You spent so much time reflecting on being open minded that the, that's the hardest things for anyone to do. All I'm doing is helping you put a piece on a piece of paper. So I think you were the amazing one. Hmm. Monica gives Yuri a quick a hand, a quick squeeze. But as soon as she lets go, she's caught by surprise when Yuri curls her fingers to hook Monica's hand in place. Bro. For a while, they sit like that in silence, save for the occasional scratching of Yuri's pen against the paper. Yesterday, you told me something that I... You told me something that I'm thinking about a lot. What was that? The thing about the feelings aren't right or wrong, that they're just a state of being we need to come to terms with. It made me think about how a person's behavior isn't just of how they decide to be. It's also made up of the, their past experiences, experiences and their insecurities. I think th that helps m me see other people as actual people rather than just an insig insignificant side characters who are out to get me somehow. Is that how you feel about Natsuki? Yuri nods. But in reality, everyone is trying their best and everyone wants to be happy. Monica peers over uh, at Yuri's poem, but by her surprise, Yuri pulls in closer, patiently covering it with her arm. Uh, I have to be able to read it to help you out. It's okay. My thoughts are a lot more organized now that I'm being able to talk to you about it. Now that I'm actually putting it on paper, I realize I pref I, I rather prefer others not to read it. Yuri laughs softly to herself, a rare expression. I'm kind of glad to hear that, actually. I somehow keep finding ways to butt in this whole time. I've done enough damage, uh-huh. But it's always been rather wonderful talking about this. I mean, I always thought you were really smart, so... Yuri smiles. I will always be terrible at these things, but people are just incomfort, incomprehensible, comfort, incomprehensible to me. I'll never get the hang of being that one. <laughs> but listening to you has so much. Listening to you has really helped me make sense of some things. So just don't call it damage, please. Monica gives Yuri a gentle smile. I can't believe I came to this club looking for fantasy geeks and all I got was real friends who value me. Is that a joke? Of course it is. Uh, I still can't tell with you. Sorry. No, I love it. Please never change. As you wish. I, you know, I don't want to say it, but I know people who talk like that. And I gotta say, being good friends with people who talk like that, it's, I gotta, I really hate it sometimes. It's like... What, what do you mean? It's like, well, do as is you wish. It's like, why does it sound so aggressive? <laughs> Ouch. Uh, he's never going to watch this, but I'm just going to call him out for it. But Widget has that t way of talking, which like, it just aggravates the hell out of me. Where we'll we have like a slight disagreement of like, I'll misunderstand something. Or maybe he, he really sticks to his guns. So even if he's right or wrong, at least I think so. Because sometimes I'm really confident of what I believe in. But yes, I do agree when I'm wrong. But he has a way of wording his sentences that just makes it sound like fighting words. The only one that comes to mind, and if he's ever listening to this, he knows exactly what I'm bringing up. It's just the believe what you will. It's like, wow. <laughs> you don't have to. When you word it like that, it sounds like a real dick bag. <laughs> just gonna call it out there. That, ouch. <laughs> like, why would you reword that and be like, well, maybe. 
like, that's what I do, is if I am confident about what I said, sometimes I'll just be, like, loose if somebody's, like, saying I'm wrong, but being like, oh, maybe you're right. So, like, because, like, because I don't know, I can't look in the past, but damn, I, we're doing it like that, such a dick move. <laughs> just want to call a widget out there, my uh, good friend. <laughs> if he's ever watching this, yeah, <laughs> I just want to call that out. That's been on my mind for a long time, actually. Yuri glances at the clock. We're almost out of time. Will you be able to finish? But before the end of the day, probably. But I don't want to come to the club on the, as the, uh, the same day that Natsuki reads it. I'm too shy. I can give it to her instead if you like. Yuri nods. As long as you promise not to read it. Of course, I promise. Thank you. Yuri exhales, and the two of them stand up. I'll message you when it's ready. Monica nods. Good luck. I'm here if you need it, me. Yuri returns a nod, and then the, the two depart. Oh, that was the end. Oh, I'm guessing... This one's going to connect the two. Self-love. All right. Awesome. And of course, I got more pictures, which is probably just, oh, a Yuri still of her dropping her papers. Also, I think I got all the wallpapers. Yeah. I already got all the poems. I didn't even mention that. I still need one. Uh, not one more. I need one, two, three CGs. Three CGs. Oh, and of course, I got the background. I got all the backgrounds. I got, I think, all the sketches. I still need the one more promo. CGs. So, so far, there's been, like, one for each of these last ones, but there's three of them. So, I'm guessing one from here, but where's the other two? Not in the main game. I tried 100 percenting that. Plus, the main game only has, like, two CGs per character, and I did every character just to get the side stories unlocked. So, that's weird. Anyways, I'll figure that out, figure that out in the next episode. Um, so, yeah. Uh, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for self-love. Probably the last part. Maybe there's like secret ones that are hidden unless I did all of them. Maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.